Sometimes there are games that when I see even only a few seconds of the trailer, I immediately get hyped for and want to experience it. One recent game that did this for me was Last Day of June. One of the reasons for that is because romance is one of the least explored topics in games. Most games only explore the idea of getting into a relationship and the thrill of it. Games rarely explore the aspect of maintaining a relationship or losing it. Last Day of June successfully pushes the boundary of what games can be. The game has a paint-like art style that perfectly supports the theme of the game, of changing memories through paintings. Emotions are the core of the journey and the game doesn't spare any sensations. Some of the main emotions Last Day of June examines is hope, fear and sadness. Seeing more games that don't just want only to be a fun game but wants to be something different, something much deeper, is quite refreshing. The game's message is really powerful, because you realize even though how hard you try to change the past, the outcome will eventually be the same. After the main character's wife dies in a car crash, he then tries to desperately change the past and hoping to be able to save her. The story is kinda dreamlike, some things aren't explained, but that's a good thing, because it leaves it to everyone to speculate and make their own conclusions. The desperation weirdly connects with me and the main character when you understand the story. Piece by piece, you uncover how every aspect impacts other things. The central element of the game is to change the outcome of the individual situation and hope your loving partner doesn't die in the car crash. Every character in the town has an impact, so you have to find the right outcome. The gameplay supports the story incredibly well by being a puzzle and a sad story at the same time. I personally didn't expect this game to be a puzzle game, but it was a pleasant surprise and shows a new way to approach different topics. Another aspect where Last Day of June absolutely shines is music. Music is often a way for art to create more emotions and Last Day of June utilizes music wonderfully. Last Day of June is one of this year's most refreshing titles and I can't wait to see what Awosoniko, the devs of the game, do next. Let me know your take on this game and what kind of impact it has made on you. Thank you for watching and keep on exploring.